You know what this kind of reminds me of? You know, like on New Year's Day when you think to yourself, this is my last time putting on pants and we'll use 2022 as an example. This is my last time on brushing my teeth in 2022. This is my last time taking a poo in 2022. <laughs> the situation is very similar in that regard since this is the last video that I'm filming in this room. Very small room. Um, I've been making YouTube videos since 2014 and it all began in this spot. Obviously with some key differences. Um, I began with a whole different channel that reached 14,000 subscribers I completely abandoned because I wanted to be a part of the world of booktube fully in January 2017. Um, my bookshelves used to be on the opposite side of the wall and I even managed to have a fourth bookshelf at one point because when you love books you become desperate to find any way possible to own more. Being a reader literally just consists of trying to find more space, which I'll have actually. Throughout all of these years of being a content creator on YouTube, I've been trying to maneuver through all of the obstacles in my way, like really slow to no internet and no air conditioning really terrible filming schedules. <laughs> um, I have really cool filming equipment that I can't even use because the space is just not ideal. Constantly having to set up everything every time I film is the worst. <laughs> Moving kind of feels like I'm starting YouTube for a third time. Um, maybe third time's a charm and I can be the content creator I've always wanted to be. <laughs> so um, I thought since most of you have been on this journey with me for um, so long that we would pack up my books together and next time you see me, we'll be in a whole new place. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this little montage video of me packing up my books. See you in the new chapter. Until we meet again, I should say. Gotta keep that outro going. Okay, so now you can tell I am surrounded by boxes of all shapes and sizes. Um, my mom works at a hospital and thankfully was able to get me a bunch of them, which I'm very grateful for. I think they were like for cleaning supplies. Anyways, you're about to see me pack up all of my books and it's definitely hitting me more now. It is a bit surreal. Um, I kind of feel like I'm in a season of growth. Things are changing very quickly and it's very important to me to check in on myself mentally make sure everything up there is as stable as possible. Thankfully, I have BetterHelp, who is also sponsoring today's video. It's very relieving knowing there is affordable therapy, especially during a big time in life, and I struggle a lot sharing my feelings. BetterHelp is an online mental health service. They assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And within just 48 hours of joining, you will be matched up with your own therapist who you can start messaging with and get timely, thoughtful responses. You can also schedule weekly video and phone sessions as well and just talk to your therapist without having to leave your home, which is just so relieving, especially for someone who is very shy and I really don't like to talk to people in person. Even phone calls are kind of hard for me to do these days. And if you're not getting what you need with your current therapist, there's no issue at all. BetterHelp has a network of 20,000 therapists with a broad range of expertise. This makes it so easy to find one that fits you um, the most. There are also more affordable than your traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available to you. So if you're interested in taking care of your mental health, go to betterhelp.com slash hollyheartsbooks for 10% off your first month. Again, betterhelp.com slash hollyheartsbooks. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for working with me today. Now let's go ahead and start packing up these books.
and she is done well mostly i still have these books here because i ran out of boxes but thankfully we're only moving about 20 minutes away so we can make multiple trips if needed and i can reuse some boxes oh and i do still have um percy jackson and harry potter up there as well um i'm not taking some of the harry potter books with me but yeah, I thought I'd film a little after clip. So weird seeing this all empty. It was basically one box per shelf, which wasn't super efficient. And it was like a puzzle trying to fit them in snug so they wouldn't move too much. And my books are thick as hell. Some boxes have like five cinder block sized books and that's it. That'll be fun to carry. So I think I filled about 17. I have nine here, um, some very small. I also got book mail today, which is ironic. And I I just left those in the box. A book haul coming soon in the uh, new place, I guess. Four here, one behind the door, and I think four more in the living room. But that's going to be it. Next time you see me, um, it'll look all different. New shelves are a high possibility still. So I will see you in the next video.